Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Ramus Jungle using Ignite. It was actually recommended to me by a viewer. I've been using it a lot on stream, been playing it a lot and dominating pretty much every game with it. Tend to have the most damage as well. I'm gonna go ahead and ward my opposite side jungle. Ramus is more of a red side jungler. He struggles against single target camps like Gromp and uh, buffs, so. Usually your best move is to play around your wraps, red golems, you'll be pretty much full health off that. So yeah, the whole point of the Ignite is you have your Nimbus Cloak, so you're really fast. So even though you don't have your Flash, it really doesn't matter too much because you get a really big movement speed bonus off of it. Plus, Ignite is 180 second cooldown and Flash is 300 seconds. So it's nearly half the cooldown of a Flash. So whenever you gank with it, it'll be back up before their Flash is up. So you'll still have your speed up on the regank. And obviously the Ignite itself. It's also really nice against junglers like Silas, Warwick, Olaf, stuff that you can kind of solo, but they just heal too much to where you can't. With the Ignite, they can't mess with you. Once you're like level three or four, you got some taunt duration and uh, some burst. It works really well with your ult as well. Your ultimate slow and damage. Ramus ultimate is actually nuts. People don't realize that. So in this case, I have Ani mid. I kind of want to gank TF. He doesn't have cleanse or barrier. He went greedy. He went, he went for... Uh, teleport so we're gonna try to make him pay normally you're gonna use your smite on gromp or golems preferably on golem because i don't really like to do gromp in my first clear if i don't have to gromp just gets you so low on health what keeps you healthy on ramus is your hunter talisman shred that it does to the monsters looks like silas actually just did blue buff straight in the gank that's super risky super super risky if that gank didn't pan out he would have lost everything i'm gonna do my red you see, so he's only done his blue, right? He's going to try to cut through mid now. If I can get to mid before him or counter gank this, then we actually kill him here. I just pinged that out for Annie. Alright, my Q's up. I just ignited him super early. Taunt. And he's dead. You know what's going to happen now? That bro only did blue. I'm going to take his wraps. And then I, I could probably kill him on his... Uh, and he actually ignited him shit. <laughs> I ignited him super early, like right when it happened. And then she ignited him anyways, damn. It's unfortunate. So yeah, level up on Silas, gonna get his wraps. I'm gonna go ahead and leave one so they don't respawn. Uh, I don't have top prior, so I'm actually not gonna stay for his red buff. I'm actually just gonna go for our double scuttle. He'll be coming for his red. So what I'm gonna do is just go for this scuttle crab. I'm going to smite it while it's still taunted, so my smite does more damage. I'm going to go break that ward. Garen's a butthole. He has a lot of top prior. I'm not going to stay on my blue buff. I might have to forfeit that for the double scuttle. Silas should still be on his red buff. I'll try to gank. Alright, I'll just cross him through. It's so whatever. W rise the, the stun comes in. I think Jin might have backed. Yeah, there's no way they're going to go for Scuttle. Silas is over there. He might go for my blue buff since he saw me going for this. I'm going to taunt it. I'm going to try to push it back towards my mid. I don't trust my bot lane. I think they're actually fighting right now. But my taunt's on cooldown, so I'd rather not go over there. That would be kind of bad. My blue side is still vulnerable from the Silas. Oh, nice. Bot lane is actually doing it. I might actually be able to kill Jin here. He's stepping up really far. I'm going to Q... I'm trying not to Q too early. I'm trying to Q to make sure I get him. Uh, taunt. Keep moving in between my autos. Aftershock. Bam. He's dead. That was really big for us. Our blue side is completely uh, vulnerable. Though. There's a really good chance Silas went for that. I'm going to go ahead. Just get my golem. Wraps. If I don't see Silas on the map, I'm going to push and do his wolves or something. He'll probably show up top lane. He's most likely clearing out my blue side. Yeah, he literally took my blue buff. Hopefully Annie just stuns him. If she had her ignite, she would have won that a lot easier. She burnt her ignite earlier, unfortunately. So whatever, she traded kills. Silas lost a blue buff. I'm on a big CS advantage over him. I don't think the guy ever cleared his raptors either. I'm going to go soak those minions. I can get it over the wall. So I can farm raps while that happens. I can't kill TF anyways. He's level 6 and I haven't backed yet. So I'm just going to stand here and make sure it's not worded. I'm going to get all of that minion XP. Well, look at my XP bar. TF's literally roaming on that. Alright, I'm going to reset. Yeah, this Ash is just 
She's she's shoving up super far. So whatever, we're still gonna carry this. Our ignite's almost up. I'm gonna go for bomb. Is it's your best first item rush? And I'm gonna go for red smite. So I have Nimbus Cloak, I'm actually not too crazy about Blue Smite. If you don't have Nimbus, Blue Smite's kind of nice on Ramus, but Red Smite just keeps you alive for so much longer, especially with someone on a Garen on their team. If he attacks me in a team fight, I'd like to have Red Smite to take less damage. I'm going to go topside, even though my blue's gone. Hopefully he didn't leave a little wolf. Yeah, he did. What a turd. That was smart of him. Wow, Kel just soloed Garen. That's incredible. My red's up in 40. Uh, my Grom should actually be respawning in... Oh wow, it's not. He's really slow cleared my jungle there. So one bad thing about me going bot for that Jin kill. Uh, yeah, go do his golems. Oh, actually, I think I can fight this. I have ignite. My taunt didn't go off because he actually entered the bush there. That sucks. I'll just go for scuttle crab. Right as I was taunting, he entered the bush. And your taunt animation is really slow, so right as you're casting, if they enter bush, it'll actually cancel it. So whatever, we'll get scuttle. Taunt it, beat it down. And uh, we'll play around the scuttle. That big movement speed. Looks like Silas is actually in my jungle. He's level 4. Super, super greedy of him. Pinging this out. I don't think Annie's ready, though. Gonna ignite him. Auto, taunt, he's dead. No clue where Silas went. I really don't want him to kill my Ash. Looks like they got him. I'm gonna go take his blue buff. He hasn't taken his blue yet. He literally just tried to cheese my red buff when he's like level four and behind. He's overplaying his hand. He's playing like he's Graves, but Silas is actually a very low win rate jungle champ. So that's like a 43% win rate said easy chase me it's actually really bad for him he's gonna fall super far behind off that two levels up i could probably solo him even though he has a big heal in his kit i'm gonna go bot i don't want to stay to fight him because i'm gonna get rotated on by tf and their bot lane because their bot lane has prior so it's better for me to just leave this area if i had to ignite i could probably kill silas but it'll take me too long i'm gonna bump right into this guy red smite him taunt r Yeah, he's fucking so unkillable with that tapeworm champ. Taunt him. Hopefully Leona stuns. He's dead. Awesome. Leona is going to die though. It's alright. Not a big deal. Silas is dead. He's most likely going to push out towards his red buff and then invade my blue. So I'm going to try to clear fast and get over there. Don't think I can really stay for this. I'm really sick of Yumi though, man. See Yumi just about every single game. Not to be a complainer, but she's legit the most degenerate champion in League of Legends. You can't target her. It's not like a Soraka or Janna where if they're out of position, you just one-shot them. She just hides inside of her carry like a parasite to where you can't. No matter what, she's going to heal and shield them and speed them up. Pretty frustrating. It is what it is, though. After red, I'm going to run into my wraps off a of Q and then going to go straight to my blue buff. Silas should be clearing his red buff right now. He'll be finishing that up. Uh, top lane's doing good. I'm actually surprised Kel's doing as well as she is. I'm going to hold on to my Q. It just came up anyways. So At this point, once you have Bomby Cinder, you don't have to use Q. Especially if you're in a hurry to get to your next camp. The way it was coming off a of cooldown, I needed to get over here. There's a good high chance Silas would have ran the same route into me. Pull towards the back of the bush. Or at least try to. Gonna Q to cancel its auto. EW. Alright. We're we'll go ahead. We'll do Gromp, but we're gonna pull it up away from that area. There's a good chance Silas is on Scuttle and it'll be level 6. And I have, haven't spent my gold yet. So I need some some uh, some time if he shows up to get away. Gonna Q it. It's dead. Alright, we're gonna send our Hulk here. Our Ignite's coming up too, so our next gank's gonna be really strong. Nice, they killed the tapeworm, very cool. So after Cinder Hulk, if they have a lot of AD, like they have one, two, plus TF autos, plus Silas heal, I actually like to get a Bramble Vest. Even though they do have a fair amount of AP, Bramble's really good because when you taunt them, it makes them hit use, it does more damage. Plus you have your W and your passive hurting them as well. So it's really, really big. 
Uh, yeah, so if I can run into Silas, I'll cut his healing in half if he autos me off my taunt. I'm gonna just smite him. Nimbus Cloak speed up into W. He's dead. I can't believe Andy just did that. <laughs> oh well, everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, I 100% had him. Andy was trying to KS it though. She sacrificed herself to do it. Looks like this is warded. I'll break it. My Q's on cooldown. I can't really get over there. I'm gonna max taunt second. Red smite him, taunt, ulti, ignite. Lock him off, Q. He's dead. Uh, I think I can actually win this. Taunt, W, Ash ult. Jin's healing will, if he were to hit me there, I would have fucked up his healing. Oh, TF's coming. I don't want to fight this. I figured TF would be. I just didn't know when he was. Like, I knew it was going to be soon. Just pull off. Got the Silas, at least. Run him down. W. Take less damage from it. That bush must have been warded from the Yumi. Unfortunate. I'll get my ward down. Silas saw me going over here, so there's a good chance he might invade us. Since I'm low, I'll check for the scuttle. It's up. Oh, yeah, of course. He's, I knew he was going to come over here. He has full jungle item. I don't think I can even fight this. Yeah, he flashed. That sucks. He got shut down on me. I'm actually going to go ahead and get Merc Treads. They have a lot of CC. They have Yumi slow. Silas stun. Garen silence. TF stun. Jin slow. Jin snare. Hopefully Silas doesn't solo and... <sighs> Man. That's rough to watch. Tibbers. Tibbers, Tibbers, Tibbers. Almost got it. That was really close. A little unfortunate, at least. The only good thing about my teammates not performing that great is it lets the game last longer. So you guys can see how strong Ignite Ramus is. Yumi is a counter, though. I like to ban Vayne. Yumi, Vayne and Yumi are the champions that give Ramus the most trouble. Vayne can just shred you from a distance. Got this. Okay, I don't think we got this. They're all TPing to this. Yeah, we're fucked. I hate Yumi so much. Fuck that champ. If that was literally any other support champ, we would kill him, but it just hides inside of his carry when it's 200 health. Gonna go ahead and. I'm taking a lot of magic damage. I really want to finish my, my Thorn Mel though. Annie, oh my goodness, dude. We're struggling here. Oh, we're struggling. They're going to get the second dragon. It's all right. We'll go get our red side jungle and play around our ignite. Going to queue out of base. We're going to be really quick. We have the Kel to scale up. I know we have the scaling. This early game is going kind of rough, though. Going a little rough. Just a little bit. Once I have my wits end, wits end is a really important part of carrying on Ramus if you're fed like I am. Like after you have your thorn mail, you can go wits end and or get a righteous glory into wits end. Since they have a lot of AP, I'm going to get wits end into righteous glory. That's going to be our build setup. Because so we definitely have the stronger 5v5 with the Leona, Annie CC, and the Cal. Righteous glory is a really good item for this build. Wits end. Dead man's is solid. Uh, Gargoyle's not bad. More mogs is decent. I don't really go Spirit Vistage on this unless I have Soraka. Gonna Red Smite Ignite. Ulti. Just got soloed. And he is fed too. Bump into him. Nice. Oh, Yumi, you little tapeworm. <laughs> got him. Nice job. Yeah, Ramus has a lot of bursts. Well, after you run into him with Q and you EW, Ignite, Red Smite, you're moving really fast off your Nimbus Cloak for using your Summoner spells. And you're doing an insane amount of damage as well. Like, we pretty much one-shot their Silas. And he has a lot of healing in his kit. 
I don't think we can chase Garen. He has Trinity Force. Even though he doesn't have tier 2 boots, he's super fast. Ooh, we actually got him. Nice. Gonna get the Scuttle Crab. Even though they're getting dragons, we're getting really far ahead in CS. On the Silas. Hit it in the middle. Take it as fast as I can. Your E gives you a lot of attack speed for those of you who didn't know. That's why you're using it on the camps every time. Taunt, W. He's hitting my Bramble. I have no clue why Annie wasn't hitting that guy though. That was bizarre. Oh, this Annie's hard to watch, man. I, I just wish she would back me up. Like when I, I'm queuing into him and taunting him and she's like full health running away. It's like, bro, we win that so free. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Let's farm up, I guess. This is warded. TF's not reacting, though. We have him taunted. Annie didn't have stun. I guess she used it on minion. I need to get out of here. I'm going to die and give away my shutdown gold. Yeah, I don't trust this Annie at all. She's super... She might be laggy or watching a TEDx talk or something, but she's not reacting I think my best laner is probably my bot lane realistically like Annie will be fine it's just frustrating when we land our CC and she's just doing her own thing that's something you should expect though the most important thing to take away from that is when that happens it's just how it is and you need to pull off like I can't just stand there and keep fighting and diving TF if my laner doesn't react so do you need to back off if you need to back off don't don't get married to your decision just things change in the moment and you need to react and be dynamic don't just follow a bad decision to the very end or a decision that went bad even if something was good it can go bad easily I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a wits end we have the kel ult so we can get away with it otherwise we might need to get a warmog or a dead man's plate since they have a lot of magic damage though i want to get wits end it'll also make me tanky because the ignite and thornmel uh the wits end Oh wait, yo, no, the Wits End is just auto attack damage. You heal a lot for it though, and Rams has a lot of attack speed off his E. I'm just gonna go for Silas then. Yeah, he got away. I'm gonna go for TF. Ignite, ulti. He's dead. The Red Smite plus the Red Smite does true damage, a bunch of true damage, and so does Ignite. So they're getting hit with double true damage on top of my ulti EW aftershock. It's just so much damage for them. They can't handle it. Dragon's coming up. We should be able to bag it. Nab it and bag it. I don't want to dive that. Yumi's going to five man snare us. It's going to be unkillable. Looks like they want dragon. We need Kel to stay though. She, oh, she has TP. We can definitely fight this, I think. And he got a kill, that's good. Kel's TPing. Taunt the Garen. He's getting his healing reduced. I'm gonna get stunned out of this. Yeah, he literally turned around and stunned me, shit. Man, Yumi's so annoying. That speed up is so strong. Taunt W, really need that attack speed. The first two dragons don't matter too much as long as they don't get all four. That's Dragon Soul. And you may say, well, why does three matter more than two? It's just because like they're that much closer to it. I'm gonna die here. That Yumi speed up is so obnoxious. I need some MR. I'm gonna farm this up. Actually, heal quite a bit off my camps. And yeah, TF's super dangerous. He's fed. He has 10 ROA stacks. He has a Yumi on him. I think my teammates are dead there. Or at least the Kel is. I got her shut down. Yo, TF can just ult me here. Oh my god. It's so annoying, dude. This is why you have to ban Yumi. Like, you have to ban Bane more importantly. But damn. That's unfortunate. That was a good ult by the TF. Looks like Silas might get chipped there. Nice. Gonna get our wits end. We should be able to carry this. 
Yeah, really unfortunate though. <laughs> TF super super fed. He's really hard to kill with the Yumi on him as well. Annie, Ooh, all right, she's she's fine. And we're gonna we're gonna scale up really hard though. Even though they have OP champ on their team, it shouldn't matter too much. I didn't check the OPGGs this game, so I have no idea if anyone's. I don't know what the win rates are, so I didn't really know what to expect out of people. I'm assuming with how good TF's farm is, and with how well he managed getting ganked, he's probably one of their better players in terms of win rate. We have a pretty big CS lead over Silas. Our CS score is pretty low though, because we've ganked so much. The more you gank, your CS score tends to be less than if you just sit there and power farm. Our Knight's out, ready, ready to make a play. My Q's on cooldown though, I can't really get over there. Nice! Kill the Yumi. I'm ready for the Kel ult. Kel's not over here. Yeah, we tanked that like a champ. Got off our AoE ult, taunted the Jin. Really, really tanky with all this armor. Silas said bot diff. <laughs> he said bot diff. That's so funny. Silas is calling the diffs out. That's funny. All right, let's take these wraps. Yeah, should actually just try to steal that. What a turd. Gonna get, I smited it, so she didn't get it. I'm gonna get these golems now. I'm gonna scale up really big. It's actually fine to give Rambus all the gold. In most team comps, like I said, as long as Bane's van, it's really hard for the enemies to kill you. Even Master Yi, he's usually not an issue since he's melee. Like Bane, she, since she's ranged, it's hard for you to get your Cinder Hulk burn on her. It's hard for you to taunt her. It's hard for you to auto her. And Rambus autos do a lot of damage with his passive basic attacks as well. So, like Yi, you can hit him with your full damage and CC him for your team. Bane, she, she can condemn you out of your Q, which puts your Q on full cooldown. And it pushes you away. She goes invisible. She's fast. She's ranged. And uh, she does max health true damage. So yeah, you pretty much have to ban Vayne if you want to play Rammus. Because if they pick her, once she gets Rage Blade and has her Bork, the game's kind of over for you. So now at this point, after our wits end, we want to get some more HP. Warmogs is a fine choice. I think we'll just go for Dead Man's though for the mobility. We can solo anyone on their team super easily. TF ulted so he can see me. I don't want him to get this turret though. He didn't even get it. He had to use his ult. It's really good for us. Got his ult out of the way. I'm gonna crash this wave. Yeah, that, that stun card's kind of obnoxious. Looks like Silas is actually coming, so I have to leave, like right now. He actually just ulted me, what the hell? I would have killed him, but I don't want TF to kill me. Dude, this Silas is so troll. TF accidentally messed up his hourglass. I don't think they would have killed me, to be honest. But I didn't want to die, so I kind of had to pull off of the TF there. Yeah, TF's just so fucking fed, bro. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here. Let's just go for Dragon. That was such a bad fight. No one else really rotated. Ramus has a lot of pick potential. And since the enemies have so much range CC like TF's done, it can make it hard for me in these solo situations to where I kind of need my team to have to fight with my team. Otherwise, we don't have that much kill potential. And the TF's really fed too. It's mainly because he's really fed and he went Merc Treads. Just keep hitting the dragon, guys. Got it. Jin's fucked. I thought I was going to get on the Garen and Yumi. They're just so fast. Silas is trying to ult him. Not bad. Silas is struggling. He can't really do much. Silas doesn't scale very well. And if he falls behind, he stays behind. Alright, we're moving pretty quick. We got his flash. Legit would have killed him if he didn't have that. Gonna re-engage off the Kel ulti. 
The uh, Garen ult does true damage. That if you're wondering why it did so much damage to me, even though Garen's an AD champ, his ultimate does true damage like Ignite. So it really hurt. Nearly killed me with that. This good Kel ult let, allowed me to re-engage. I'm super low on health. I actually don't want to do Baron here. Yeah, I don't know who's pinging that. Kel even said we can't too low. It's true. I'm almost dead. I'm going to smite this. I need the mana. Alright, yeah. We're in a really good spot. I can go ahead and get my dead man soon. I could have gone for... Righteous Glory, I'm just feeling the dead man's a little bit more. The thing is, if I turbo speed up into them, even on a full Q in Righteous Glory, TF can stun me out of the Q anyways, kind of negating the engage. So I feel like in this case, dead man's would probably give me a little more value anyways. In most cases, like they just have some really good CC to counter Ramus Q. He can knock you out of the Q with it and he can't miss it. With a lot of skill shots like Lux Snare, you can just side juke it real quick and then stay on top of them. But TF, stun card is point and click. You literally can't dodge it. Hopefully Annie doesn't take this from me. Nice job. Silas is picked. We got the Garen. Got my ulti on him. Got him taunted. Got my W on. I'm shredding him with my wit's end. Where's the tapeworm going, man? Yo, tapeworm, I'm coming for you, baby! Gotta kill it. Kill it! Before it makes babies. Alright, tapeworm down. Where's Jin at? I knew he was over here. He didn't step up though. He got the minion and then ran the fountain. I thought he would get kill the minion and step up for next wave. We do have red smite. It's pretty fast though. Did I mention that? I'm a tank. Did I mention that I'm a tank, guys? <laughs> Killed him underneath turret with two... Can we can we kill him with fucking turret? We can't kill the turret! Oh my god! He, like, hit the turret! I'm tanking the turret. We just need, like, one more auto attack. I had to stay in my W or I would have died from the turret. I needed the armor my W was giving, and it was making me move slow. That was rough. But yeah, with the Ignite Ramus, Nimbus Cloak, you're actually a hyper carry like you saw. You can kill people under two turrets, solo them, kill them. By the time your taunt finishes, they should die. Like the Jin got melted. Got melted and mulched. And if they do have lots of CC, you will need the tenacity from Merc Tread since this build doesn't have tenacity from the Precision Tree. Next up in our build route, we could go Righteous Glory. Uh... Adapt of Helm wouldn't be terrible, but it just wouldn't be that great. We could also go War Mogs. I'll probably just go War Mogs so I can be full health. The TF's super, super fed. I have no clue how Kel got soloed by Garen. She's super, super fed. And he killed TF. That's amazing. I'm actually going to help myself to this blue buff. When you're a hyper carry on Ramus, feel free to take all the buffs. Like you saw, I can one-shot people. Ramus is a one-shot assassin tank. So taking all the gold and buffs, as long as you know what you're doing, is completely fine. Because you can carry the game just as hard, if not harder, than everyone else. I have dead mans. I'm pretty quick. I'm gonna run Silas down. Yeah, he's dead. Dragon's coming up. Alright, Jin is going for Raptors. This is probably worded what I'm standing on though. Gonna red smite him to speed up. I didn't even ulti. I didn't even ult or ignite and I still pretty much killed him before the taunt ended. No ignite, no ulti. Just red smite for Nimbus speed up. That fucking hurts, man. TF is super, super fed. He has a lot of shutdown gold. We, we can't really end it yet though, I don't think. I'm gonna, just gonna go for the dragon. Annie, why? No one was with you. <laughs> Literally no one was with her, not even Leona. Annie said, it's my time to shine. It's my time to shine, baby. All right, let's get this dragon. The thing is they have Yumi and TF under turret and if we try to dive them, we're gonna get AOE snare, TF stun. Yumi's gonna heal and speed up. We're on a really good path for dragon soul, which is OP with Ramus. The Wind Dragon Soul gives you 50% movement speed for 6 seconds. So even if I'm in W, 
I'm moving at 330 right now because of dead mans and stuff. And so even if I'm in W, if I have my ult on, I'll be moving at like 500 movement speed. So I'll be moving faster than them inside of my W. I'll be hella tanky and one-shotting people and moving as fast as Hecarim. For six seconds after I ult. Kind of nuts. Alright, I gotta get over there. I was using my Q, so if you try to jump over, you would have jumped right into my Q. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I lived. No way. Yo, I need to get War Mogs. Garen does true damage, so if I just keep stacking armor and magic resist, his ulti still does like a quarter of my health. Uh, I'm pretty far off of War Mogs, though. Still need a decent amount of gold. Probably end the game without it, realistically. Just gotta play around Michael. She's super strong. Ash is super strong too, really. Even Annie, dude. Even this Annie. She does have seven deaths, but she does a lot of damage. The red buff's coming up. I want that. Gives a lot of on hit damage, which is OP with me. I have a lot of attack speed off of my E. And, uh, look. On my E, I have 1.5 attack speed, which is really high. Red buff's gonna heal me up. Gonna break their wards. Smashing them, smash them real quick because we have high attack speed. Where's TF? Just trying to bait him to think I'm going in on it. Ulti, red smite. Trying to put the deeps in. We have a Cinder Hulk and our ulti burning him right now, AoE. W, taunt him. We can't kill him because of Yumi though. Tapeworm Champ OP. If that was a Soraka or Janna, I'd just run him down and one shot them. But Yumi, you literally can't. She's inside of somebody. Pretty sure Garen doesn't have ult. Taunt. Goodbye, Tapeworm Champ. Alright, guys, and that's how you play some Ignite Ramus Jungle. It's actually a hyper carry assassin. It's an, it's an assassin tank jungler. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Go to the start of the video for the runes, level order items. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.